Imagine this scenario, Samsung, one of the world's largest smartphone manufacturers. What if they decided to create their own operating system and ditch Android altogether? Would it be a good move for them to have full control of both hardware and software, just like Apple does with its products? What would it be called? Let's take a deep dive. Let's look at the current situation. Android currently dominates the global mobile operating market with Apple's iOS coming second. Samsung is also one of the leading smartphone manufacturers globally, coming second to Apple in a very close battle for the top spot. However, in some regions such as Europe, Apple's lead is a little bit bigger, while in North America, Apple has a considerably higher market share than Samsung, but that could be down to the fact that while in other global areas such as Europe, there are other mobile manufacturers competing for that market Share. while in North America that competition market share has been swallowed up mainly by Apple. So if you're familiar, if you use a Samsung, Samsung uses Android as their base operating system for its smartphones, but also adds its own customizations and features on top of the base Android with their own One UI, which features things like Samsung Pay, Bixby and Knox. While Samsung also develops some of its own apps such as Samsung Internet, Samsung Music, Samsung Health, it still relies on Google for those core apps and services such as the Google Play Store, Google Maps, Google Assistant and Gmail, which are all part of Google mobile services, which are a set of proprietary software that Google licenses to the Android device manufacturers like Samsung. So what would be the advantages of Samsung creating its own operating system and ditching Android in their mobile phones? I was thinking I'd call it something like Samsung. OS, Sam OS or SOS? What do you think? Just let me know in the comments below. So what would be the benefit of this Samsung OS? The main one would be that they would have more control over the design and functionality of the operating system without having to follow Google's guidelines or restrictions, allowing Samsung to create a more distinctive and consistent user experience across its devices. Imagine a SOS across mobiles, tablets, computers, fridges, everything that Samsung make, one OS. Manufacturing phones and developing software that complement each other. The software utilizes the power of the hardware. Whether you like or hate Apple, this is exactly what they do. Samsung would have more flexibility and innovation in developing new features and services that cater to its consumers' needs and preferences. Imagine if Samsung could integrate its own AI, cloud computing, and internet solutions all into its operating system. Would you be up for it if it was something that would make Bixby better? They would have more independence and security in managing its own software updates and patches, reducing the fragmentation and vulnerability issues that often plague Android devices. Samsung would have more revenue opportunities by focusing more on the Galaxy Store, creating more of its own app and digital content platforms. More money for Samsung that it can keep instead of having to share with Google. Doing this could mean that Samsung could have more loyalty and retention from its customers by creating an even more exclusive and integrated ecosystem of devices and services. Currently they have developed a good ecosystem that is getting better all the time, but it's still not fully theirs. Android on mobiles and tablets, Windows on their PCs, the One OS could initially increase the cost of customers who want to move from another platform, but once they're in, you've got them. You could say that it works for Apple. First you buy an iPhone, then an iPad, then an Apple Watch. Before you know it, you've got an AirTag, MacBook, Mac Mini, all because it's Apple. However, creating its own operating system and ditching Android would come with some significant challenges and risks for Samsung. They would have to invest a lot of time and money into developing and maintaining their own operating system, diverting those important resources from other areas of the business, such as hardware innovation or marketing, but Samsung's a big, diverse company. Surely they could accommodate that. We'd have to sit through their annual developers conference, but that's a small price to pay, isn't it? They would then have to convince developers and users to adopt their new operating system, which could be difficult given the popularity and familiarity of Android and iOS. Samsung would have to offer compelling incentives and support for developers to create apps on its platform. And for consumers, they would have to offer attractive features and services for users to switch from their existing platform. Would you switch? Would you want to switch? Would you want to immerse yourself into the world of One OS, the way Samsung want you to enjoy their mobile experience, the right way? They would also have to compete with Google on multiple fronts. And knowing Google, they would most likely retaliate by limiting or blocking services to their mobile services and functions or other Google products for Samsung devices. And Google could also leverage its 
dominance in search, advertising, cloud computing, and other areas just to undermine Samsung's effort. And finally, they would have to deal with potential legal and regulatory issues. Depending on how Samsung would want to implement its own operating system, it could face potential patent infringement lawsuits from other companies or antitrust investigations from authorities. Just like Apple, the authorities get suspicious when you lock things down. So what do you think? Would it be a good idea for Samsung to create its own operating system that I'm calling One OS and ditch Android? Or would it be better for Samsung to stick with Android and focus on improving its hardware and software differentiation? Let me know in the, what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more tech-related content just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.